Yo guys, what's going on? It's Ace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the changes that happened today in Escape from Tarkov. Now, we had a couple different things happen. We're going to talk about all that stuff in today's video. But as always, make sure you guys are hitting that like button and make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button, man. We're on the road to 10k. We're going to hit it soon. You might as well be part of the journey. So make sure you hit that sub button. Let's hop into it, man. So the first change is actually one that a lot of us typical players really won't notice. And that is the fact that a lot of data for certain items has been completely wiped away. They have taken away the rarity and the spawn locations of every single item in the game. So realistically, we already know where Soleil was spawned. But let's say next wipe, they change all the Soleil was spawns to completely new locations. Let's say none spawn in Crack House on Customs anymore. Maybe they spawn in the Stronghold or something like that. We won't know that within the first 10 minutes of the game once we get our next wipe. So right now, it's kind of irrelevant because most of us already have our items. So there's already going to be a ton of items on the flea market but as of next wipe it's definitely going to make a huge change because this wipe you know an item like a green battery is something we found very common back in 12.10 12.11 but this wipe i haven't found a single one i've already put in over 200 hours and i had to buy all five of them for my hideout so those items that might possibly be changed again next wipe are going to be a lot tougher for us to find and it's going to rely on the community to make guides talk on reddit talk in discord talk on twitter in the twitter threads of bsg whatever it may be to find some of these items so any item in the game is associated with that information and is now completely gone off of the game files and this directly affects data miners uh people like logical if you guys know who that is who actually received a ban who was told to stop data mining a while back and he kept doing it and now battle state just took it away from everybody so that's not really any direct shade at logical but i think he should have taken battle state's uh request a little more seriously and that's all i'm gonna say about that next is going to be magazines in containers along with grenades grenades can also not be put in containers anymore uh that applies to all grenades even smoke grenades which is a little surprising i mean who the fuck is gonna put smoke grenades in their container i mean i think he could have let the smoke grenade kind of slide through but um at the end of the day every single grenade is not able to go in your pouch that goes for magazines now here is a change i would have liked to actually see or hopefully see in the future i would like to see empty magazines still have the ability to go in your container i think if you find a dope ass 60 rounder in raid you can unload all that ammunition and then you can put it in your container i think there's no reason to hold the player base back from getting good magazines in raid if they take the time and effort to unload that magazine i think this change is to mainly prevent like the pvp chad w key warriors that are still going around right now especially on labs now if you would take the ammo out of their magazines there would be no point for them to even have the magazine in their pouch because it wouldn't be loaded so i feel like you know if you're gonna bring an expensive mag into raid you would just have it in your tactical rig because if it's not loaded there's no reason for it to be in your pouch but if you're somebody on the looting side of things and you find a dope ass mag and you want it you should be able to put that in your pouch um maybe another change in the future where if it's a found in raid magazine you can put it in your pouch something like that I would like to see it expanded. I think there's no reason for empty magazines to not have a place in your container. That is just me personally. And I'm somebody who does not run magazines in their pouch, okay? I do not do it. The only time a mag will ever go into my pouch is when I find one in raid or if I kill Killa, kill Tagilla, whatever it is. Now, obviously, those do have ammunition in them, which I probably would not spend the five minutes unloading 180 rounds of BT just to get three mags in my pouch, I would just leave the raid. So it's a very specific situation there, and I would like to see it expanded upon a little bit. But overall, Battle State probably don't care about what I have to say about the magazine change. So, you know, I would say it's probably going to stay the same for uh, a decent bit. We might see, you know, a change reverted in a month or something or a little bit more expansion upon it. But I don't think we're going to see anything too crazy. Also, word on the street that the impact grenade has been nerfed again. Um, honestly, man, the shit was so overpowered from the start. And I think we all knew it was going to be. But I don't know how you could nerf the impact grenade to a point where... It would have no utility. I mean, it's still going to be an impact grenade. It's still going to be one of the best grenades in the game, uh, assuming it does kill at your feet. So 
at the end of the day, the impact grenade is always going to be a hot topic for the entirety of this wipe, unless they completely nerf it into the ground. But that's all we got for today. Don't judge the kit on screen. It's for a video that should be coming up tomorrow in the afternoon. So make sure you guys are looking out for that. And then uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for gameplay. Well, I got a 50-minute video coming out, I think, in two days. It's going to be after uh, the guide I post tomorrow night because it actually takes into account the guide so there is gameplay coming it's 50 minutes i think there's like four or five raids in one video because we did a little series it was actually really fun so make sure you guys are looking out for that that's all i got for you today make sure you hit that like subscribe if you're new sponsor and equipment description below it's gonna be it for me thank you for stopping by i'm out